Hey, Kendra. Ooh, that's a blast from the past, isn't it? Hey, guys. Welcome to Deb Schnell's 40th World, where we get into reviewing videos, okay? We, we get in review. Uh, into the habit of reviewing anything out there in the celebrity world as far as entertainment and what the celebrities are doing, their comings and their goings. And if you'd like to see more videos such as this, please don't hesitate to just share, share, share my videos, like them. And if you feel inclined, please subscribe to the channel. Cost you nothing. But yeah, the streets are talking, honey. The social media are a buzz tonight last night and probably some nights before that and most people uh many bloggers such as myself have been talking about it i just found time to come you know on my youtube channel and talk about it so the story has been out there for probably a week and um i get my editorial story from bravo tv so see can you still get um She's still getting publicity, honey. Trying to amp up the show for the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14. So, um, hopefully she's, um, what do you call it, winding it down over there at Dancing with the Stars. And bringing herself back to where she belongs. Which is in the drama club, okay? Yes, we miss her. She needs to be taping and focused on giving us good reality tv full of drama ratchetness and anything else she can twirl on for us but there's a simple rumor going out there that kenya is trying to make another family i don't know is the family supposed to be with cynthia okay is the family supposed to be with candy burris or is the family supposed to be starting with brandon now you know brandon he's over there He's doing his thing, living his life. He's a choreographer and dancer and, you know, living his best life at this time. And word on the street is, Kenya might be trying to fool with that young man. Okay, and I'm like, that man looks like a baby. Can you say a baby? And Kenya looks more like the grandmama. Okay, nice looking, well-preserved grandmama now. Don't get me wrong, grandmothers are not like... The ones that have the pocketbook everywhere they go, even to the bathroom with the wigs, the great salt and pepper wigs, and they're just slow. You know, just slow to walk, slow to talk, and all that kind of stuff. No. King is more of a newfound glam ma. Glam ma, I guess you would say. But we don't put her out like that. It's just, it looks kind of weird uh, with anyone suggesting that she's into brandon okay brandon armstrong really looks fairly young like he got oh, i don't know water behind his ears you know those things just too too young to be tampered with okay and that's beautiful can you right there and as you can see she's enjoying herself over there dancing with brandon and she's probably wishing she was at least 25 years younger and she would probably give him a race for his money but i tell you he just looked like a baby don't he y'all like he in high school still and kenya looks more like his mother a nice looking mother okay i was just joking about the grandmother but you know that it, he really could be her high school son because you could put him back in high school okay but rumor is running around there that she's making a family or calling Brandon family uh, to her in Brooklyn. And I'm like, girl, I mean, she's slightly, you know, putting it out there. Oh, he's like my brother. He's like my brother. I'm like, yeah, can you? Yeah. And you would know you would like to go around or two with that brother. Okay. From another mother. But yeah, they're trying to say, can you trying to get down in them draws? Oh, Brandon. And I don't know. Brandon kind of gave me a sweet tease to him. I don't know. I'd still evaluate him. You know, it might be his artistry. It just may be how he sachets across the floor. I, I just don't know. But I'm not getting that he's all oh, man. Well, I should say he's for the female persuasion. 
I think he likes the same sex, but that's just my opinion. Okay, that's just my opinion. But Brandon knows how to showcase himself. He knows how to market himself. And as you can see, Jenny Mai, or Jenny Mai, she's married to uh, Jeezy now. Uh, she was on season 29, which was the past season, previous season, before Kenya came afloat. See, that boy looks so young. Just look, he, look, he barely got a mustache. All right. But Kenya's enjoying her time over there. And looking fine as wine. And, uh, I mean, those look like the perfect couple. Those two. Uh, Jenny Mai. And she was sashaying her little behind. And I don't know because I never really watched the show. But I'm sure they were like, ooh, skirts were turning. Butts were shaking and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's another picture or a photo I have in here of a girl named Tanisha. And they tried to put both her and Brandon as being a couple. But they seem to be in the same age group bracket as well. Now, you know, ain't none of this my business. But when I like something or something interests me in the celebrity world, and it's a celebrity that I've probably been following, child, I got to break my two cents in on it, okay? But that's that girl named Tanisha. Uh, she was supposed to have been, or they were supposed to have been rumored dating. But it could have just been in the moment. You know, they had their little time on the dance floor. Uh, that's Brandon on the right. Brandon Armstrong. And that's another dancer uh, who's probably a competitive uh, dancer as well on Dancing with the Stars. And that's Mary Wilson. Okay, I wonder what the Supremes, Mary Wilson. Y'all fact checkers, get down in there come and let me know. But she was a part of Dancing with the Stars. I don't know what season. But she was showcasing her many talents. Being an older seasoned woman. And from the pictures that I gathered together for to make this video. Excuse me. She was enjoying herself too. Just like Kenya Moore. I think Kenya Moore is in her 50s as we know. Looking good. Feeling good. Even though, you know, she shouldn't have took that little hype spin where she jumped up in the air and Brandon forgot to catch her the proper way. Because she said she almost broke two ribs. So she felt she broke two ribs. But, honey, if you sprang the rib or cracked the rib, you wouldn't be trying to get in nobody's arms <laughs> to complete no more dancing. You would just have to be one of those uh, people that had to buy out gracefully because of an injury like Tamar Braxton did. Uh, I think Jen, uh, Jenny Mai, uh, she didn't complete the season either because she had an injury. But, yeah, I'm like, can you, who you call the family? I thought Mark and um, Baby Girl Brooklyn was your family. And we know you tried to get um, that young man to be your family, but you said he was too aggressive. Uh, even putting domestic violence on the poor man. And are you considering Candy your family? You know, that's what social media trying to figure out. Or is it just you and baby Brooklyn against the world, honey? Being a family. But, you know, you're tossing up this family word. And you keep putting this young man in the mix. So, the streets are thundering out there <laughs> with anticipation on, are you trying to be a cougar girl? You're trying to go over with Dance with the Stars and try to break the sound barrier and become a cougar. That's what you're coming back giving us, girl. Trying to cougar it out with Mr. Brandon. <laughs> I know, Kenya, he is a hottie patati, a hootie patootie. Yes, honey. Girl, he'll have you going each which way, and you'll be done broke something. So, slow your roll, Kenya. Come on up. Date someone in your 50s or maybe a tad bit older, but don't get as far as Portia don't went, which she don't went to the pasture and found Simon Gabadia. So, we ain't talking about going that uh, deep into the age group, okay? Where you have more years behind you than ahead of you. Like, Portia done set up there and stole somebody from the um the old man gang i should say and he ain't no silver fox now y'all look up the silver foxes them are some fine brothers they dressed astute they are tailored to the max and whoo they just like fine wine go down in time honey google them i might put them in one of my videos 
they are some ooh, suave looking men okay but they're not well yeah they are they're in their late 50s early 60s so I hell, some of them might be in their 70s but they look good they look good okay and they probably still can do some things too all right not just looking cute on the eyes if you get material but yeah kid okay, that's what they saying girl i had to come out and say girl are you crazy girl that's jail bait jail bait so we don't want you to be clickbait and get over there and get into something you ain't got no business being bothered with okay <sighs> you already was claiming you were injured don't really get injured in a way where you're gonna be publicly embarrassed you know he, he might do some moves on you girl and you be sitting up there in traction hanging from one of them little them traction beds where you don't broke too much stuff and everything just have to be elevated girl don't get yourself put out like that because then i would have to really laugh at you and do probably an hour long video like how did you get yourself in this predicament when all your body signals was telling you don't do it don't do it don't do it but it was that lust i know that lust you just had to go for the forbidden fruit but we're telling you as Caesar women, don't do it. Don't go that way. I'm like Cat Williams, why? Why would you want to go hurt yourself like that, Kenya? Knowing that man is young and, and, and vibrant and, and, and whoo, child. He's just raring to go. And you know your body parts don't act all right now. You know your body parts don't act all right. You was already complaining about your knees and your elbows and how they ache and all this kind of stuff from being on the dancing with the star. Now you're trying to amp up your, um, what do you call it, your body and trying to get tantalizing and, oh, I can't even think of the word. It's at the tip of my tongue, but I know you probably wouldn't get laid just using a word that uh, comes to mind. You know, I can't think of the real word I want to use, but I know you left the nap of the boy. He's an, a looker. Yes, he is, but... Honey, Brooklyn needs you. And you mess with him in a certain way. Child. You might call sweet, low, sweet cherry. Because Brandon going to take you home to meet your maker, girl. Messing with him. But anyway. Let's get into the dirt, the dish that Bravo TV prepared for us. Anita Abedin. I might have pronounced her last name wrong. Forgive me. But we want to give credit where credit was due. She wrote up a pretty little cute article on Miss Kenya Moore. And she titled it, Kenya Moore Shares a Sweet Update on Her Family. Now, that's why I was asking all these questions. Like, what family is Kenya Moore talking about? The one she put together with Mark? The one she was trying to get together with, um, he would not be mentioned. Okay. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The guy who tried to, can you say it, tried to put hands on her and all that kind of stuff. Is she trying to get back with him? Is she trying to make family with Candy or Cynthia? Or is she just want to be one woman strong facing the world with her baby girl, Brooklyn? What family is she talking about, y'all? Because she could not be trying to say she want a family with this man. This young man at that. He had a whole lot of living in front of him. Okay, you got a whole lot of living behind you. Okay. This how it is when you get in your 50s. You got a lot more years behind you than you got in front of you. So, enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. But I would say get it to where you're with someone who's on your same type of platform. Because you may want to keep up with the young crowd. But can you? Sometimes you got to just bow out gracefully, Lord. Because your body ain't going to keep up with no youngin. I can tell you that. But let's get on into this article. It is saying, The Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore does not hold back when it comes to expressing how much she cherishes her family. Of course, the RHOA mom adorable's daughter, adorable daughter, Brooklyn Doors Daily, is front and center in her life. But as Kenya recently shared on Instagram, her definition of family also includes her partner on Dancing with the Stars, Brandon. This young man, Brandon Armstrong, the one on the right. And that one on the left is eye-catching too. Ooh, he's cute too. Okay. 
But as we know, Brandon has made his career on being a dancer on his favorite platform that he's employed by, which is Dancing with the Stars. Okay, he get to dance as a professional dancer. He couples himself up, but they couple them up with different partners of the celebrity realm. And they go out and showcase their talents in the dancing field or what they probably have taught them in training sessions so they can be well fit and um, ready to go when it's time to uh, get the film running for us to see them on live television showcasing their dancing talents that they've learned very briefly. And so we can't really judge them like real dancers, but they be putting performances together and we just have to you know look at what they give us and if we like it and we thought they executed it real well on the dance floor then we celebrate them okay and then sometimes we celebrate them just for being having the courage to go out there and do it okay because sometimes a lot of people get taken out their comfort zone and they want to always try something new that they probably didn't try when they were young enough when their body was saying okay uh we can do that versus me at 50 being overweight, having that mentality that I can be thrown in the air and somebody's going to catch me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whoo! For one, my body probably won't jump or be thrust in the air for somebody to catch me. Because I'll be hollering, thinking about, who are they really going to catch me if I hit that flow? How much pain I'm going to be in and how much medication I'm, I'm going to need to be sedated by. But that's another whole story for another whole video. We get back to the article. Uh, you know, she's right at front and center in her life. Can you recently share it on Instagram? You know, her little fascination with Mr. Brandon. Mostly calling him her brother. But we already know. He's a brother from another mother. And she ain't trying to be no sibling type of relationship with this man. We know what you want, Kenya. We see that young meat that you want to prance on, pow on. You know? Do your little dance song girl we know we know but anyway sometimes family isn't blood it's love can you caption in the photo which show her posing with both her two-year-old daughter and her dancing with the stars partner she added fill your life with those who make you happy care about your well-being and protect you from anything that doesn't serve your best interest now say can you i think you got the google eyes for this young man because in the picture that i saw on your instagram account you had on um, a coral type um, tank top and some jeans. And Brandon had on his all black ensemble with shorts, long sleeves. I guess it's kind of cool out there or I don't know. And then we got baby girl Brooklyn in her little jumpsuit. Okay, looking all cute, looking all cute. Now that was just one picture. Now the picture that I got seemed like it was taken out of a park or somewhere. Okay. And I'm like, how many dates are you having, girl, off camera with, with Brandon? Because I know you just need to stop it because it's just lust. And it's because you don't have anybody uh, because uh, Mark is not paying you any attention. But, of course, you probably didn't put that in the contract that he had to pay you any attention, any mind, or anything after a certain amount of time or dealing with you. But that's just my perspective, my point of view. So everybody else have different point of views. You can definitely express them in the comment section and get your three along, okay? Because I want you everybody to be fe uh, feel free to um, voice their opinion at any time, at any given time, okay? About my videos, uh, hate them, love them, don't matter. It's your perspective, so I gotta I gotta always respect that. But Kenya is making this seem like, and it could just be a good PR stunt. She, it could just be a publicity stunt just to keep her name in people's mouths. Whether you like a lover, uh, hate her, or just totally indifferent with her. You know, one day you're loving her, next day you hate her. You know, whatever. It still gets you to talking about her. Making her larger than life. You see what I'm going? How to say good press. All press ain't good press, but in the entertainment world, bad press, good press, somewhat fair press is all good. Because somebody's keeping your name out there, meaning you you won't be forgotten about or be, won't be talked about is what I'm saying. Because they, they want to be talked about. 
that's the only way they survive in the entertainment field. People are definitely looking for you, Googling you, talk, making videos about you. Your name is out there. It's going to always be out there. And, you know, half the time it's going to be known as the household name when you came to Real Housewives of Atlanta. Where you got your first and foremost uh, real uh, publicity that we came to know you from. Even though you was, you know, a pageant queen and all of that. You know, you have to be following that type of arena to be able to understand where, you know, all of your different accolades that you acquired throughout your living on this earth. So if you don't follow that type of um, mainstream of entertainment, because that pageantry is another different type of entertainment. And you got to like it, love it, you know what I'm saying, to be able to be entertained. But if you're not into all that kind of stuff, you wouldn't even know who Kenya Moore was, okay? Uh, and then, you know, she had her little things when she was on Martin, her little acting cameo part she played. Uh, you know, if you didn't really like Martin or any type of comedy sitcom at the time that was running in, you know, the 80s, 90s, and two, early 2000s, you probably wouldn't call her in. So it just depends on what your shin is as far as entertainment. Where whether you will be exposed to Miss Kenya Moore or not, okay. But anyway, like I said, most people more than more than likely know her from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay. Um, then she goes on to say, Kenya and Brandy have shown quite a bit of chemistry on the dance floor as they continue to compete for the fame mirror ball trophy as part of the season 30 Dancing with the Stars, as evidence. By a recent photo, Kenya shared on her Instagram on October 13th post. The dancing partners are shown wrapped in close embrace during their Venice Waltz performance. And Kenya captioned the post with her hashtag mood AF. Okay. And I think she's talking about when Kenya basically was dressed like the evil queen um, in some kind of fairy tale book. Uh, I, I can't recall. You know, I keep thinking of w Wicked, Witch, Wicked Witch of the West, but we're not talking about the Oz. And down the real big road, follow, 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 follow. The, the Wizard of Oz, we're not talking about that, but that's the Wicked Witch I was talking about. Um, or it could be some Disney witch she's trying. I, girl, I don't It could be Magnificent. You remember that one? Uh, I forgot who played it, but... Uh, like I said, I don't really watch Dancing with the Stars. I only catch clips when they put them out post-show. And then if it, she's dancing, she's seen like, you know, I want to watch her. I do watch her. But I'm not the one when she was the Wicked Witch or whatever she was. Uh, she kind of danced pretty smooth. It was kind of like a drama type of um, routine they were doing at the time. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. I I got bought on that one. I was sold. To me, it was a solid performance. But, again, I think she was at, tw not the bottom two, but she's still at the bottom. Okay, but going back to the article, it says she also shared a recent photo of the pair paying homage to Greece with Kenya dressed as Rizzo from the musical. Okay. And she was cute. You know, she was like, kind of looking like Marilyn Monroe in that blonde wig, short hairstyle. Um, the one that she sits under some kind of air vent on the outside and the wind is blowing on her. They got a fan and it's just going up, you know, trying to tease the men or whatever back in the forties and fifties. Um, she has on this black, uh, cute dress, you know, showing a little cleavage, showing a little legs. And, uh, it's a short haircut that. To put you in the mind of Marilyn Monroe hairstyle, but Kenya's winning in the black aviance versus the golden or blonde one. And of course, you know, uh, I don't remember Rizzo dressing like this because I Rizzo basically was in pants, you know, those short khakis and uh, other skirts that were tight fitting, but you know, fit a curly, uh, curvy girl, Caucasian girl. Oh, it was Rizzo uh, Italian. Hell, I can't remember. But it's neither here nor there. But, yeah, they were um, dancing about the, um, or reenacting some of the scenes from the movie. And it played Grease. Um, 
So it was kind of cute. But going back to the article, it says, Kenya had previously opened up about how much she appreciates Brandon and how well they work together and a heartfelt tribute to him on Instagram. If anybody or if anyone embodies what I think Prince Charming would be, it would be Brandon. What a good dancer, but what a great person. Kenya wrote in September 21st post, I now have a friend for life. Our chemistry is so powerful. And I can't wait to walk into the studio to see his face every day. I said, girl, you don't got bit by the uh, lust bug. The lust. It ain't love. It ain't appreciation for the male body and physique of their anatomy, girl. You just in lust. That's pretty much what you probably ain't had none in a while. And he just looking like a nice snack for you. Okay? And you just probably want to huh, try out how well he rides. That's pretty much what it is. Or how much you could ride on him. You know, I'm just getting a little naughty here. But I'm just saying it. I'm saying it. You might not speak it. But I'm just speaking it for you. Okay? Oh, because I have this platform to do so. So you can agree with me or you don't have to agree with me. But Kenya's in lust right now. Because the words that she is choosing to um, describe this man. You know, chemistry. All the time we have chemistry. Or we use the word chemistry when we're talking about a male and a female. Or it could be the same sex. They're talking about desires. And the common factor what draws them together in a romantic way. And that's what Kenya is going with this chemistry, okay? Because it could just be y'all just like dancing, you love the art of dancing, and y'all are getting into the moves. And once the music stops, y'all get on phase with one another. You get out the trance you were once in, and you just go back to being normal. You be like, okay, good, 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 good show. I mean, most well composed dancers, they know how to get into it, make that magic work. And then they leave it at the they leave it on the floor when they leave. When they've done their job, they finished the assignment, and they nailed it. That's it. Okay, that's it. It's, it's everything could be the same with you know ice skating. That's a beautiful sport. I love to see everyone do it. You know, what I'm saying I even got on some ice skates one time, and I just like the blade underneath my foot. It just felt like it was cut, and so I, I really didn't like it. Uh, for myself, but I, as I think it's a beautiful sport, it's very elegant. Who it just makes you feel at peace, you know what I'm saying? When they be up there turning around on that ice and oh, just doing dunk on thing. But yeah, King is just in Lust City right now with Brandon, and it's a shame because, like, why would she even use the word Prince Charming? Now, you know, when we talk about Prince Charming, we is into that person. Okay, we int for me. I like heterosexual. I like men. I'm a heterosexual woman. And when I found myself in lust or like or love, however you want to see it, I'm just mesmerized with that person. I mean, I'm just in awe of everything they say, they walk, their uh, looks. Just everything just makes me want to be in a trance and just follow them wherever they want to take me. You see what I'm saying? That's what you're talking about. You don't follow your Prince Charming. So it's, it's, it's kind of romantically in her mind involved with this man that probably don't even have a clue. Or he may think, you know, he might think it's all cute and, and for jokes and stuff. And he's probably just entertaining her. But as you can tell in my video, he's that way with every new dancer he's trying to do a routine with to keep him on his um game and keep them keep him in shape and do what he's employed to do which is dance okay and make us feel the routines but kia honey she just loves short with this young man uh because the different words she just wants to portray like i said it could just be a good pr stunt but when Kenya sit there and she's attracted to somebody i think some other things are in play you know what i'm saying do you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. And he might be taken aback. Because like I say, he might not be heterosexual. Just my thoughts. So he may really not be in tune with the vibes she's giving him. You know, he might be missing them all. You know, might be going all over his head. And then again, he might be bisexual. You know, he gets with the women. He gets with the men. You know what I'm saying? He might be that kind of dude. I don't know. But it seems like he, meaning she is more into him and his meat package than anything else. So all this family, you know, 
a lot of uh, other euphemisms she's using and comparisons and uh, similarities and, and the whole wanna be making a new family out of new people coming in your life and treating you like something and mesmerizing you and making you feel wanted again that's what can you on that trip you're on that lust trip so we just give you you know kudos for trying to do what you thought it make it should be doing out there but we need you on real housewives of Atlanta. we need you to get back to reality because you got to go fight your so-called soon to be ex-husband next year which you only got two more months you know you're not gonna really be doing anything anyway because it's the holiday so you got to play fair very nice but when you got to go and fight him in court and try to get everything sealed so nobody meaning the vloggers don't have any rights to knowing anything about any settlement any other monies you may be having to owe him because of your contractual agreement y'all made between one another um yeah, you need all that energy to save for that situation, okay? So, that's all I had for this particular video. I just wanted to, you know, pretty much let Kenya know, you know, for the people that kind of think they know her, such as myself. You ain't fooling about Kenya. We know you done latched on to that man and you got some feelings going on, but just, you know, just chalk them up to it's just lust. You ain't had a man in a while and a nice looking man and then he's young, meaning that makes you the cougar. And I'm pretty sure his mama's not going to like you uh, trying to fawn all over her son like that. Because she's going to be saying, baby, how old are you? How old are you? You know, you need to go find somebody a little bit older. Okay, and leave my son alone. That's probably what the mama probably was saying. Like, don't you bring Kenya more down to this house because I don't want to see her. I don't want her lusting after you and all that kind of stuff because I had to set her straight. So keep her away from me. She only got a few more times. Hopefully she'll be off the show soon and she'll go on back to Atlanta. <laughs> That's what the mama probably said. Oh, but yeah, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. Leave Brandon alone, girl. You'll find somebody. Because you don't need him. He just look he, like you could put him back in high school, girl. That's how young their brother look. Okay. And he might be he might be in his early twenties still, you know. Not too young for you, can't too young. Then you ain't got all that kind of money to keep him, you know, interested, I should say. Okay? Because, you, you know, when you cougar, you got to buy, you got to pay the lay. You got to pay the lay. Okay? That's all I'm saying. So, you got to you gotta kind of keep him in a, accustomed to the life he likes living. And it seems like he loves to have fun and he loves to travel. So, you know, you already got this man that you thought was going to act right. He ain't acting right, girl. He ain't acting right. Now, you got to go deal with him next year. All right? And you know him. Okay? You know him. I don't know where he at at this time, but you kind of drove him crazy, too. I find, I kind of felt uh, sorry for him. <sighs> then you got Candy. I don't know. Are you going to chew her out on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? We already know you're a good mom. You're going to be a fantastic mom when she has a baby you're gonna be a wonderful grandmother yes you are so we got no we got no problems with that but this brandon stop lusting stop lusting over him can you okay get your mind right get your body back in check okay get your hormones uh size down go take a cold shower drink your little wine gonna lay down somewhere okay let the baby sit down handle brooklyn at a time because we don't need to see you trying to make this man into your boyfriend or trying to teach him the finer things in life went, he could care less. You know, he could be ratchet when he want to. He can be funky if he want to. He can be captivating if he want to. It's his life. He has more years ahead of him than you have, can you? You have more years behind you. So you need to be settling with somebody uh, a little bit more of your age category. Okay, and leave this poor boy alone. It's nice. He's nice to look at, but you're lusting. You're lusting, girl. It be like that sometime. It be like that sometime, girl. I know. Temptation is a booger bell. But keep hope alive, honey. Keep hope alive because you don't need nobody almost Brooklyn age. You know what I'm saying? Or give Brooklyn about 15 more years. She'll be up ready to date Brandon. Okay? But that's just my take, my spill on this particular video. If you like it, love, you got to have more. Get down in those comments and tell me what you felt about it. Okay? And what other videos you would love to see me do. But again... How you can help me is share, share, share my stuff out, y'all. Share my stuff. Share my videos, okay? And like my videos as well. And then I will see y'all next video. Take care. Bye-bye.